booktube chelsea the reading outlaw here to review among others by joe walton i just finished this book not too long ago and i absolutely adored it i first heard about this book during amanda center's kind of review extravaganza review week that she just recently did where she posted a different review video every day of the week and this was one of the ones that she reviewed towards the end meaning it was one of the ones that she enjoyed the most and having read it I can absolutely see why. Among Others is a kind of magical realism book that deals with witches and fairies. Morwenna is a Welsh girl whose mother is an evil witch. Her twin has recently died and so she goes to live with her kind of estranged father who she's never really known. Her estranged father sends her to an English boarding school and then not only is she dealing with the loss of her twin, but she also has to deal with navigating being Welsh in an English school, as well as dealing with a physical car crash injury that leaves her physically disabled and needing to walk with a cane. There are so many good things about this book that I absolutely love. The first and foremost being Morwenna as a character. She's called Moor or Mori. Morwenna is a gem. She's frank. She's funny. She's so intelligent. Because of her physical disability, she is exempted from a lot of the gym class and sports games and things like that that go on at the school. So she spends a lot of time reading. Her favorite things to read are science fiction and fantasy. So there are titles name dropped all over the place in this book. There is a Wikipedia reading list that I will link down below. We are talking authors like James Tiptree Jr., Robert Heinlein, J.R.R. Tolkien, C.J. Cherry, some of the real classics of science fiction and fantasy of both genders. Morwenna reads them. She gives us her thoughts. About midway through the book, she finds a pretty solid group of friends in her local library and their weekly book club that is completely science fiction and fantasy based. And let me tell you, I want to be a part of the book club in this book so badly. It is adults, it is teens, it is mixed, different people lead, they talk about all different sorts of books. I just, if you are a book lover, which I'm assuming you are because you're here on this channel, this is 110% a book for you. On top of that, we also get pretty frank and realistic realistic discussions of teenage relationships and having boyfriends, having sex. There's a possibility that someone in Morwenna's town got pregnant and had to have an abortion, which of course sends ripples through this tiny English town, which gets into for Morwenna discussions of judgment and judging others and withholding that judgment and how to kind of navigate these circles. There's also issues of family and motherhood and fatherhood and what it means to be a family and whether or not your primary biological family is necessarily the family that's automatically best for you or if some of your extended family or kind of chosen family is superior or can be superior or better for a person depending on the context in which they are. There are discussions of ableism and class and language and how all three of those things can intertwine. Morwenna comes from a wealthy, from wealth on her father's side. Her father's extended family is incredibly wealthy. The mother's side of her family is incredibly not. That is the side with which she has grown up. So all of a sudden, not only is she navigating a different language and a different school structure, but all of these different issues of class added to the fact that she is physically disabled and she walks with a cane, which of course leads several of the people in her school to tease her and make fun of her and look down on her. I think the thing, if there's one thing that I, that gave me quibbles about this book, it would be the magical realism. I just think I'm not necessarily a person that deals as well with magical realism. And that's because mainly for me, I spend a lot of time wondering if it's actually really magic or if it's somehow metaphorical. Morwenna sees fairies in this book. A lot of the magical realism deals with fairies. Like I said, her mother is a witch. And every time her mother was mentioned, I kept trying to figure out whether or not her mother was actually a witch in the classic fairy tale sense or if the evil that she'd done and the evil person that she was was a kind of metaphoric witchiness or that the harm that had come to Morwenna's sister had caused Morwenna to view her mother in this evil light and out to cause harm to her. 
it's just, it's completely a me thing. It was not actually in, like within the context of the book at all. It all came across wonderfully. It was all handled wonderfully. This sense of magic and magic being the emotion and the effort and the impetus that you put out in the world to bring these things back to you. There are great conversations about the magic in the book and if it's moral. Marwenna struggles a lot with feeling like the friends and the good things she's brought into her life are only there because of magic that she's done to bring them there. So it's kind of this falseness and this sense of unreality that she has created and she's very distrustful of that. But as a reader, for me, I spent a lot of time wondering if the magic in this book was really magic or if it was some kind of metaphorical abstract way for Morwenna to express these things that are kind of unexpressible. So that might be something to keep in mind if you like me kind of think through magical realism in that over analytical place. But I still so highly recommend that you read this book. I just I do not have enough words to tell you guys how much I really, really enjoyed this book. It got a five star review for me on Goodreads. I really, really loved it. And I think that if nothing else, you should pick it up for the crazy number of title mentions alone. So there you have it. That is my review of Among Others by Joe Walton. As I said when I hauled the book, the only other book I have read by Joe Walton is The Just City, which I enjoyed but felt it lacked in execution what it offered in promise. This I felt was the exact opposite. It completely lived up to every single thing that I wanted it to be and I'm really excited to pick up some more Joe Walton. I'm thinking about going back to The Just City and finishing out that trilogy of books, maybe some time will have increased my love for it. We shall see. Let me know down below how you feel about magical realism. If you've read Joe Walton, if you have any similar authors or books that you think might be worth checking out, or of course, your comments, questions, concerns. I'm always here to talk books with you guys. Look me up all over social media, Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, you know where to find me. And as always, happy reading. Bye.